I'm going to prep to do it now. My practice hand looks a bit battered, so I'm sorry about that. It's been it's been a few years that I've had this um I've had this bad boy. So uh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little brown clip. Um some of these are a bit grotty because I haven't I didn't file them off after I after I popped the tips off. Cause I'm lazy. Uh, right. I'm gonna go in it looks like we're going in with this one no i'm gonna go in with this one because this one's not as battered as the rest so we're gonna just push that in there that looks kind of good already and i'm just gonna do a very little bit of shaping because this is a practice hand i'm gonna go in with a um i'm gonna go in with a an 100 y 100 grit nail file um, because it is a practice hand, but if this was a person, I would not be using this on the nail bed and I would go in with something softer. Maybe like a, um, 180, 240, that, that can be nice for the nail bed area. But because it's just a practice hand, I'm just going to use this. kind of hold the file in like a um I don't want to say gun fingers but if you think about it it's pew pew it's, you know so <laughs> I kind of hold it in this like yeah position and um I kind of do like a bit of a soaring motion it's kind of I, I, but I stop every now and then I'm not like just going at it like do you know what I mean like I go shh 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 Sure, 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 you know, and I kind of like, I'm, I'm never on the surface of the nail for too long, N just so that there's no heat spikes, and even though this is not a real nail, I still want to get into that practice of not going crazy on the, which, which this would be the nail bed, because oh, I've lost, I lost that thingy. It's actually here somewhere. I'm just I'm just so lazy. I'm just look at it. It's right here. I'm just lazy pugger, bruv. Right, I don't think that's the right way. Right, I think that's it. That should hold that in place a bit more now. It should stop slipping out. Okay. Right. Back to the nails. Go away. Okay, so I'm just going to shape this tip a little, shape this. When I do my side walls, I like to try and use my other finger to kind of press against that side wall so that it helps me to keep my file nice and straight and so it doesn't curve in like that. I want it nice and straight like against this nail. So that's what I'm going to do. See, nice and straight. Nice. See how we're, cur we're straight in and out this curve in that nail there. Doesn't need to be perfect because we are going to be putting a tip, but I do want it to be level. That's good enough for me. I can work with that. Right. Now, that is nice and prepped. We're going to go back to our fingers. Um, with these tips, I've had these tips for a while, if you can tell by how crusty the box looks, but it's okay. Um, I mainly have a, I have a, I have a set of uh, tips that are for my practice hand, and then I've got a set of tips that are for me or clients. Um, so um, I'm going in with the number zero and I'm using this number because as you can see, we're running very low on these tips and I only have the smallest sizes left. I've used all the sizes that fit the um, nail practice hand. So now I'm going in with the bigger sizes and I'm making it work because um, this is money and uh, we don't have money to waste. I'm still going to try and get this tip in the middle. You see, it's in the middle there. 
and that's what that's how i'm going to attempt to place it and then i'm going to cut these edges off and we're going to file it into shape i'm going to be using this um knockoff um melody susie neck lamp <laughs> and uh goose neck lamp and i'm gonna be curing this now in model one's base coat we're gonna be using some base coat to apply this tip i don't use glue i just prefer to use base coat and because these bottles can come quite full, I'm not just going to pull it out because then all the liquid is just going to spill everywhere. I'm just going to circle, do a few circles so that some of the liquid can run down into the bottle. And then I'm going to swipe my brush and apply. You can apply a tiny bit on the tip if you want to. Or what I like to do sometimes as well. So let's, let's, let's just pretend I didn't just do that. <laughs> uh, what you can do is take the gel that's on the tip. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Take the gel that's on the tip and push it on as a like, as as if you're putting some gel onto the tip, onto the um, nail, nail bed thingy. <laughs> And then you press it in so obviously the light isn't on as of yet so i'm just working out my placement once i'm happy with that what i like to do is i basically push the hand up and away from the light so that it doesn't cure before i want it to i'm gonna tilt my camera a little bit um i put my light on okay if it wants to come on oh might be because of the gloves. I don't think it can feel my fingers. Oh, there we go. Them gloves are too thick, clearly. Move all your gel products out the way. <laughs> oh, God, learn that the hard way. <sighs> right, now I'm going to... You can't really see me. Let me bring this down a little bit. I can't really see what I'm doing. I'm sorry about this, guys, but I'm put pushing and placing the thingy onto the tip i usually have the light a lot higher but if i put it any higher i won't be in the frame and then i'll pull the nail down in front of the light so that I can cure sometimes i might just put the light on again just to make sure it cures come on properly right across this tip really saturate it in there then I'm gonna flash cure again Now we got the tip on there. Now I'm just gonna cut the excess tip just so that there's a little bit less for us to file. You can file this away if you want to, if you don't really feel comfortable with the scissors or if your preference is just to file, then that's fine. But I'm just gonna trim it down because I prefer that way. I'm gonna actually start with the underneath because as you can see, that's a little bit a little bit wonky not terribly but just a little bit i'm just going to even that up right i like that and i'm going to do the exact same on the other side let me zoom can't bring that in a bit then you can see I'm just lining my file up against that side wall and I'm making sure that my file is nice and straight. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's nice and straight against that nail and we're just going to gently file. I use my other fingers to hold this nail as I'm filing to give me some stability so that my hand isn't doing this. It's a bit more loose. 
if I have something here, I have a little bit more control and I can gauge where I need this file to be a bit better. Right. All right, that's looking a little bit better. Yeah. Right. Now I'm going to switch files now that it's I've gotten I've um, thinned down that tip at the sides and kind of it's almost fit into each side. So now I'm going to go in to make sure that I don't over file because this is a harsher grit than um, this file um, to make sure I don't over file the nail too much. I'm going to go in with this. Okay, now that that tip is kind of where I want it to be, I'm going to bring in these side walls. You wouldn't have to do this much work on obviously a tip that actually fit the snail, but because this tip is a bit bigger, I'm having to put in that work. Bastard! Okay. That does happen sometimes. I think my issue was I forgot to put it in the big lamp for a full cure. Just going to go in with a bit more base coat. Bring back out that little lamp. Just going to hold that in place. Gonna put a bit more base coat. And I'm gonna pop this nail off and put it in the big lamp for a full cure. Let's see how our nail is doing. Because I wanted to do a, I wanted to do an application today. But I don't know if this tip is gonna let me. Sometimes this does happen and these be popping off by I have to fix this shape. Because I wasn't holding the file on the, uh, I wasn't holding pressure here. So when I was filing, I was missing this end bit and it was curving the nail, the nail at the tip here. So I'm just going to like straighten out my file right up against that so that I can try and 
eliminate that curve because I don't like curve. I like straight, sharp, clean. So I'm just going to hold that like that so the tip doesn't wobble. Yeah, that's looking crisp. I'm going to come in at the side wall, other side wall. Then I'm going to come down the middle of the nail. And I am using the 180 grit of this side. I am using the 180 grit side of this nail file, but I'm applying very light pressure. I'm not filing hard at all. Okay, and I'm going to do the tip. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm happy with that. We're going to work with that. Okay. Now, with this being a practice hand, um, I'm not going to be applying base coat. But if you was doing this on yourself, then at this point, you would want to apply some base coat before you go ahead and start your poly gel application. But all I'm going to be doing is getting some, I'm going to get some acetone on my lymph-free thingy. And I'm just going to swipe that dust away. Because we don't want all of that dust. We just want the shape. This is what I have after I remove the dust. As you can still see, that number is still there. This is a size zero. That now looks like a size four. Mm -hmm. Okay, 